I just recently moved from APS-C crop sensor to full frame with the Canon 6D Mark II and in this video I'm going to be talking about what it means to move from crop sensor to full frame so stay tuned and keep watching. What's up guys, my name is John Ferrer and I am the proud owner of a Canon 77D. And sorry guy, who are you and why do you look? Because like I am you. the new you. I am the full frame you. So all of the crop sensors need to exit the room now. It's my time. Hi guys, it's me again, and I am the owner of a full frame camera, 6D Mark II. For roughly 1100 bucks, this is a full frame DSLR with more than adequate capabilities. So to me, that is value for the money. With a vast array of full frame Canon EF lenses, as well as third party Sigma lenses and Tamron lenses, that combined with this camera will allow you to create pretty much anything that you want to create, whether it's photo-wise or video-wise. So let's get real about why you would want to go for full frame over APS-C or Micro Four Thirds. Reason number one is low light capabilities. A 35 millimeter full frame sensor can obviously gather in more light than your crop sensor or your Micro Four Thirds camera or your smartphone camera. With better low light capabilities in a full frame camera, you can crank up that shutter speed and not have to boost the ISO to ridiculous numbers, thus reducing the amount of noise in your photographs. And that is pretty much what every photographer wants to do with their images. The second reason why you would want to go with full frame over all of the other crop sensor cameras is that bokeh. Let's face it, we all love that blurry background when you're taking portraits. And for many people that might be the number one reason why you're gonna go with full frame is so that you can take those professional portraits, those professional wedding portraits. It's all about that bokeh-liciousness. And even if you're not a professional, you just wanna wow people with that bokeh. And that's it. Those are the only two advantages that full frame has over all of the other sensor cameras. Even though the 6D Mark II will have low light capability advantages over my 77D, under the right lighting conditions and mastery of your manual controls so you can get that exposure right, you don't really need to worry about low light capabilities. As long as you know what you're doing, you can get the perfect lighting in your shot and you can reduce the noise down to zero if you know what you're doing with lighting and with your manual controls on your camera. Bigger sensor cameras will always have better background blur and better bokeh than the smaller size sensors, but if you're not a portrait photographer, then you're not gonna give a damn. Sharpness. It's a quality that everyone wants in their photographs. And full frame doesn't mean that you'll always get a sharper image in your photography. My Lumix G7 is a micro four thirds mirrorless camera and it produces way sharper images than any of my Canon 77D or 6D Mark II images. And that is crazy. Now of course you can fix sharpness in post but it, if you're the type of person who just wants to take photos and have it sharp automatically out of the box, then you're gonna go for a camera that can produce that. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a full frame camera. It could be a micro four thirds camera. It could be a APS-C camera, but full frame doesn't mean sharper. And if you watch my previous video, which I'll link up here, I mentioned that your audience or your client, they won't look at your photographs and think, 
oh this was done on a full frame camera or this was done on a micro four thirds camera they don't really give a damn so all they care about is that it looks good and looking good doesn't mean that it came from a full frame camera the naked or uneducated eye doesn't know the difference also a lot of APS-C and Micro Four Thirds cameras, especially the mirrorless cameras, offer a lot of advantages and features that often aren't featured in full frame DSLR cameras, such as in-body image stabilization, smaller size for better portability, non-cropped 4K video capability, a more affordable price range, and much, much more. And you know, even if background blur and bokeh meant a lot to you, you can still accomplish those things with APS-C and Micro Four Thirds cameras paired with the right lens and your ability to, to zoom into the subject, you will be just as capable of achieving background blur almost as much as the full frame cameras. So come on back Canon 77D guy. Like I was describing before, just because I'm a full frame camera doesn't mean that I'm better. I'm just different. And there's no reason why we both can't exist for our yeah. owner. For example, you don't have a 10 to 18 millimeter lens like well, I do. Well, I do have as a full frame camera, a Canon EF 16 to 35 millimeter, which covers that focal length in real life and more. Yeah, well, this is not a contest. That's true. This is not a comparison of who's better. We should both exist because having two cameras is better than one, especially for a YouTuber. So before we close out this video, if you are interested in getting either the 77D or the 6D Mark II, the links to the Amazon sites are down below. Both of these cameras have proven that photo-wise or video-wise, Whatever you want to create artistically, both of these cameras can deliver that for you. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to this channel. More videos on the way if you like photos, videos, everything in between. We talk about that in this channel. So be sure to not miss out on it and subscribe. So we will see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, do you want to go get some coffee? Yeah.